And as promised in my last video, today I'm going to tell you how to do the all-in-one mask. I call it the all-in-one mask because it contains scrubbing, exfoliation, moisturizing, and toning the skin as well. I do this regime once a week and I've been doing it for about 5 years now. Since I've started this regime, whenever I go to my facial sessions, the beauticians have actually told me that my blackheads and whiteheads have reduced like tremendously. Hence, I would like to share my routine with you and hopefully you can do it at home too. It's really simple and easy. Now all we need are a few items. We need brown sugar for to scrub your skin. We need yogurt. Any yogurt will do. And um, yogurt's a very good skin exfoliator. I'll give you more details of why yogurt is really good. So you need yogurt as well. You need lemon, but just the lemon juice. You can use lime as well. And again, I'll explain all the benefits of all these ingredients later. You need honey. Honey acts as the moisturizing agent. Again, I'll show you the steps on how we use all of this. And finally, we need green tea. Green tea here acts as the toner and we'll use it as the last item in this facial mask regime. First things first is, I'll sh we need to prepare the green tea uh, toner first. So what I usually do is, boil some water, really hot water, in a small little bowl. Get the green tea bag out. And pour very little water, not to make a thick paste, but a really saturated green tea um, mixture solution. This much. And what I usually do is I cover it with a plate so that it really sits in all steams, just mix with the green tea to get as much green tea out as possible. Now, once you've gotten this ready, just put it aside and you can start with your facial mask regime. This whole regime takes about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how long you put the mask on your face. So the first mask that we're going to prepare is the yogurt and lemon exfoliator. Just put enough for your face, what you think is right for your face. And we are also going to squeeze some lemon juice into this. Lemon is really high in citric acid. It helps in, again as an exfoliator, helps in removing dead skin cells and also helps in regenerating new skin cells. Lemon juice is also high in vitamin C which helps in clearing up acne scars and promoting skin skin cells reproduction. So then again, squeeze a bit of lemon juice. Okay, this is enough. So what I normally do is I heat up this mixture so that when I apply it to my skin, it's easily absorbed into my skin. But you can't heat it up too much because it can kill the nutrition in the yogurt and the lemon juice itself. So what I do is I leave it aside first and I will start with scrubbing my, my skin. So the first step is to scrub your skin. And that's where my brown sugar comes in play. Take some brown sugar, put it in my palm, close it. Okay, come and follow me. So what I normally do is just turn it on, wet my face a bit. And start by scrubbing my skin. Once you've scrubbed enough, just wash it off. Then just wipe off the skin. Please either use a cleaning tissue or your own facial towel. Okay, now it's time to put this yogurt and lemon mixture. I usually put it in an hour toaster and I only put it for 10 seconds because as I said earlier, I do not want to kill the nutrition in the mixture. 
and leave it for 10 seconds, literally 10 seconds. Okay, if you do not have an oven toaster, you can put it in a microwave, but I do not recommend it because as you know in the microwave, it actually moves the molecules in the mixture itself and that could cause the mixture to change its components or shape per se, which can be cancerous to your skin. Okay, the mixture is ready. So, 10 seconds. Take a towel because it's really hot. So what it is, it becomes, it's hot, but it's not too hot. So you can use it in the skin, just mix it. And you can start applying it to your skin. Just apply it all over your face. Apply it evenly all over your skin. And make sure, you should also please remember to apply it to your neck. Okay? Many people forget that whenever they put your creams, moisturizers, or even wash your face, they don't look after your neck, they don't apply to your neck, which is really wrong. You have to look after your neck because it's part of your whole skin care regime. Okay, so you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. You cannot leave it on for too long because it can dry the skin. Okay, now, after 15 minutes, wash off the mixture. Again, dry your skin with a clean tissue or your facial towel. Okay, so now we have finished the second step, which is exfoliating. On to the third step, which is moisturizing the skin. Okay, for the moisturizing step, we use honey because it's high in moisturizing properties and it's also an antibacterial, hence, it, it prevents formation of uh, acne and pimples. Right? So, what you do is so now we take some honey and as I explained in my earlier video, you have to use a plastic spoon as it prevents the honey from going bad. So just take a bit, enough for your face and neck as well. Put it into your palm and just apply it all over your face. For the honey, we leave it on for about half an hour and just let it be, just let it seep into your skin. And it will help with the moisturizing and the appearance of your skin overall. So once you've put it all over your skin, just and neck, just leave it on for half an hour. So after half an hour, just wash off the honey from your face. So wipe your skin dry. And now we're on to the final step. And this is when we use our toner mixture, the green tea toner mixture that we prepared initially. So it comes like this. The green tea toner tightens the skin and it leaves the skin glowing and flawless. Um, green tea is also high in antioxidants, so it protects your skin cells from free radicals. And it's also high in antibacterial properties, which prevents the formation of acne. One of the biggest causes of acne is, yes, hormones and oil production, but it's also due to the presence of bacteria, which causes the acne or pimples to be formed. So, when applying this, just take the tea back. This will be your cotton, butt, cotton pad, per se. And just apply it all over your skin. You might want to just take a tissue and remove the additional wetness from your skin. So once you have put the green tea all over your face and neck, just wipe off the extra moisture and now you're good to go because you've done your scrubbing, exfoliation, moisturizing and toning. So what you can do is just add on your normal moisturizer and just head out. Or you could leave on the toner for about 10 to 15 minutes and then wash off with your regular facial wash and just do your normal, put on your normal creams and whatnot and you're done already. Just an hour and an hour to an hour and a half of one day of your week and your skin is good to go. Thank you. Please do leave any feedback or questions if any and I will definitely get back to you. And please subscribe. Thank you.